Hi guys, happy Friday. Hope you're all okay and you're still safe, staying safe. So I thought we'd just recap our phase three sounds to start with. So here we go. J. Mm. Not forgetting our new tricky word for this week, which was come. Well done. Hope you've joined in with those sounds just. So the next activity that we've got in your pack today is I can read, and this is the sound air. Air, air, comb your hair. And that is the A, I and R sound, air. So read the words and match the picture. For your phonics, you've got these sheets today, so you've got your phoneme frames there and what you need to do is look at the picture, say the what it is, so this one is a frog, well done, and then we've got to really listen carefully for those sounds, so what can, sounds can we hear in the word frog? It's got four sound buttons, frog, frog. Frog, and it's that blend at the beginning that we need to really listen for, isn't it? So, frog, frog. So that starts with a fr, 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 fr and then an a, ah, and the sound at the end, frog. G, well done. It's a g. Okay, so have a go at those for me. You've got a frog, a crab, a flag. Grass, nest, lamp, tree, and leaf. So if you can have a go at those for me. For your writing, and hopefully you've all planted your beans by now, I will be doing a little bean experiment in the next few sessions that we do. So hopefully your beans planted and you know what you need to do now to keep your bean from growing. So I thought what today's task is, is that we'd write it got some words here and some pictures to help you just in case yours isn't quite getting there yet so we've got the first first n then next next and this word here is finally so you might want to put something like first we got our bean and planted it in the soil then we watered our bean and it started to grow next we made sure our bean was having plenty of sunshine and finally, after many weeks, the bean begun to grow. Yours might be different to that, but I can't wait to see your super writing. And finally, for our one more and one less, we've got a counting board here. So, as you can see, first of all, so we just practice, got bulbasaur saw to help me today. So, on my number track, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Have a sun. This is for you. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so on your sheet, you've got one more, one less. So what we need to do, so this one, for instance, has got number six. And I'm going to put Bulbasaur here on number six. And then what we need to think, this is a sweetie. So this one has got one less. When it's less, we go backwards. But when it's more, we go forwards. Well done. So if you're on number six, this one is going backwards. 
So Bulbasaur is going to go one less to make five. So one less than six is five. And then to do one more, he's going to go back to six. And one more than six is seven. You can do that for all of those. You can make your own number track if you want to. I like this idea. So get your teddies out, get your toys out, put them on your number, and then get your mums or dads, brothers or sisters to say to you, what's one more than nine? And then you can move your teddies, your cars, your toys. One more than nine is 10. What's one less than 10? One less than 10 is nine. If you don't want to use a number track and just want to get your toys, Put them into groups. So one, two, three, four. I've got five of my Pokemon toys. Five Pokemon toys. One more. I need to get one more out of my box to make six. And one less means I have to take it away. So there is now less in that group. Can't wait to see what you do with that, guys. We really need to build up our one more and one less. So good luck. Take care, have a really good weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye.